Hello everybody, we're here in Santo Rosario in Holy Rosary Parish Church. It's a big church. Let's try it. I don't know if you can film inside. Can you film inside? I'm filming. No, inside that. Oh no, I don't think we can go inside. And film. Yeah, because they said it's a private right. church. Yeah, private over here. It's a private here. church. We're here in Santo Rosario. Yes, they allow us to take a review inside. This is the entrance. Under construction. So people were asking what we used to do. This is similar to what we used to do. We used to rehab buildings, not this commercial, but this is the inside of the church. Look at the stairs. Yeah, they rebuild it. Especially if today is your birthday, you have to, to do this. Put some candles and pray. Hello, everybody. We're here. We're still here in Santo Rosario. And we're here in Museo Nin Angeles. So check this out. Okay. Papampangan okay. words for this is story. This is our. Um, the uh, main gallery. And the beginning of our history. So, in 1795, the after he uh, served as a governor of equivalent to the mayor now yes. in mm -hmm. San Fernando. Year after, they went here to found a new place for for, for the expansion of the sugar plantation. Okay. Especially sugar. So that's what started out with sugar. Yeah, they can be your the people who live here are the indigenous nomadic uh, fighters. Yes. Yeah. So uh, during the don't, time, so they got this big forest for you to So when they came here, they brought the image of the Virgin Mary because the founders, the Don Angela, is like the devotees of the Saint Virgin. So is that the big church over there? Yeah, the, the, the name of the big church is uh, Santa Rosario. Yes. After the clearing, there was a uh, religious procession. And they believe they protect themselves from any danger. Yes. So, and in 1829, the Barrio Puyat, no, the place named before this Puyat, they named after this vine because of the abundance of this Puyat vine. Okay. So in 1829, with the effort of the founder, the Barrio Puyat became a town. Uh, the name Angeles, named after the angels. Mm -hmm, yeah. First is the name of the founder is Angel, okay. and the holy virgin angel. The, the town was named after uh, mm -hmm. Maria Monsete and Agustina Edson and Monsete. government through the pueblos is servicios, a form of forced labor. Its original location is the present site of the Bank of the Philippines Island for the 
Universal Bank along sa Thurston Street. Missionaries who came here are the Augustinians. They are Spanish priests. And uh, this one of the newest bell in the church. The newest bell? 1920? Yeah. 1920. The oldest bell, uh, last March 6th, uh, it's 200 years. Okay. 200 years. Wow. Yes. This is impressive. I didn't know this museum was in this doorway. Mm -hmm. Establishment of faith. So this is the, uh, tra the tra traditional expression of faith that uh, the Augustinian friars they uh, introduce the kind of uh, practice, no? uh, practice the procession, the pagination. Yes, last week. Last week, yeah. yeah. And then this Christmas the Lantern procession. Okay. We got into Venice from the uh, from a corruption word for Mabena. Yeah. Novena. Novena is nine from the word nove. Yeah. So it's nine days Christmas devotion. So every night, nine days before Christmas, there was a uh, a lantern procession in their vicinity in this barrio. And they still do this? Yeah. So they it's it's the station uh, yeah. uh, start the longest battle of Philippine American War in the Philippine in the Philippine history in Pampanga. Okay, is that the Spanish American War? No. No. Okay. Yeah, so it's after the uh, okay. Philippine Revolution in Spain. Oh, okay. Because the Spaniards, they uh, sold the Philippines to the United States. This is all the history here in Then imposed the economic sanction on Japan to reserve the military grains. Right. The word of Pearl Harbor on December 7th. And then December 8th, here in Angeles okay. at the uh, uh, Fort Stats of Britain. Yeah, yeah. So that's and then there's a war in 1942. The American and Filipino soldiers surrendered to the Japanese. That's the war yeah, of the Japanese. MacArthur went to Australia. Yeah. And then he vowed that he'd come back. So the American soldiers and the Filipino soldiers, they uh, need to transfer them in a prison camp in Campo Donel in Tarlac, in Capas. Yes. So they need to uh, walk from Marveles to San Fernando because the nearest train station is San Fernando. The death march. Yeah. Yes. When they reach San Fernando, they load the train. Yeah. And then when they get here in Angeles, the townspeople of Angeles, they prefer food, drinks, and sweets, food and then they gave it to the prisoners of war. Okay. Wow. Okay. And this is the guns from the time? Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, American uh, rifle. Yeah. That's your, this only our replica. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These are caliber. Japanese and... Uh, okay. This bicycle, Beautiful. they use the uh, Japanese infantry when they came here. Yeah. I've right? seen them in some videos. Yeah. Mount Pinapur. U.S. Air Force Base in Dubo, only 16 kilometers east of Pinatubo. Subic Naval Station, the largest U.S. Naval Base in the world, 32 kilometers west of Pinatubo. By the time scientists discover that the mountain is actually a volcano, it is only 10 weeks away from a major eruption. Fifteen thousand U.S. servicemen and their families are hastily evacuated from Florida and forced into the housing facilities of Subic, which are already bursting at the seams, with fourteen thousand Navy personnel and their own families. I've never seen an operation like this, but when the entire facility is in effect, then we will do it In 1991, the military basis agreement between the United States and the Philippines is scheduled to end. George W. Bush's negotiators are in Manila to renegotiate an extension, 
but the public sentiment is that after 100 years of military presence in the islands, the United States must pack up and leave. Filipinos are hoping that if they cannot make their former colonizers go, maybe the volcano can. And so, in the two Iwam squad of all days, Philippine Independence Day. Of yarn. <laughs> That's the one who made leading strings. Ribbon. I know. Plastic bottles. Made in plastic bottles. This one's made made of strings. So made in plastic bags. I know, bamboo, I mean. Liar. <laughs> my brother is a liar. Liar? Liar, oh, my yung kapatid ko. Nagla liar. Ranger, my brother. He plays this? He knows, yeah. In, at school. He, pl he plays that at school. We, we had little smaller ones back in school. Mm, yeah. This is like a real one. This is our gracious host for this museum tour today. Nice. What was your name, sir? Lozier. Lozier? <laughs> the big finale. Right, because this is a famous tune by our host. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 
I have a ring. Mm -hmm. And the song is about our culture, culture. our heritage, and especially our language. Yeah. So I'm inviting you to go upstairs. I will show you our indigenous script. Okay. They call it Malikulitan. Before the uh, Spaniards came here, we have our own writing. Yeah. They call it uh, Kulit in Kapampangan. Okay. So Kulit. I will write your name in a Kulitan in a piece of paper. All right. So, yeah. mm. Let's do that. Okay.